Good morning and welcome to another of the series Reading the Signs of the Times, a production out of the Communications Department of the Archdiocese of Suva. Thank you for your positive response to our first program last week, which featured Father Ioane Vontosiro. Father talked about abuse, abuse in the communities, why this is happening, and also suggested perhaps we needed something in our lives, perhaps we needed God and more God in our lives. He'll be back with us later on in the program to uh, continue with his talk. But before that, we have great pleasure to introduce two young girls from St. Joseph Secondary School, Year 13. They are Luisa Saomi and Twindali Raisele, and they talk about the masterpiece of God's creation, you and I. And they end it beautifully by pledging the Purity Pledge as part of their appreciation of being masterpieces of our Creator, and we thank them for their segment. God's greatest masterpiece. God's handiwork is an amazing work of art. Each creation filled with life, vibrant with colors, each serving a purpose. But of all living creatures he made, we human beings are his greatest masterpiece, you and I. When God created the heavens and the earth, he rested and said that all he had made was good. However, he felt that something was missing. That's when he formed men out of the dust, and out of the men he formed the women. God created them, created us in the image and likeness of him. And from that perspective, we as human beings are his most prized possessions. Men and women were created to have fellowship with God to be intimate with him and worship him in truth. We should view ourselves as that, God's greatest work of art. We have to value ourselves as much as God values us, love ourselves as he loves us. God put, human, put humans above all material creation. In Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10, it says, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should work in them. We should not take life for granted, but learn to appreciate and value it. Once we are confident to know that we are God's greatest creation, we will be able to make the right decisions to discern what's right and wrong. In relation to that, uh, we have a reading from Psalms verse eight. And it mainly speaks of how amazing God's creation truly is, but more importantly, how mindful he is of his very own masterpiece, which is us. He gave us all authority of all the creatures that he had created and over all things. Um, in relation to what she said, uh, St. Joseph has come up with, um, back in the year 2011, the former students of the school had come up with uh, this, this pledge called the Purity Pledge. It was an initiative that was taken on, not for abstinence, but mainly for us to stand in confidence to say that we are creating a stand, that we will not taint ourselves. Uh, so as young women, we not only pledge to the people around us, but to God, and more importantly, to ourselves, that we will remain pure in thought and in actions. To stand in confidence to say that um, we will, be, we will remain as masterpieces of God's creation and that we will become beautiful women of substance. So women whose presence are not are felt as much as their words are weighty, so that it creates an impact on the lives of other people around us. This is our purity pledge, which we are happy to share with you all. Believing in what true purity is, I pledge to God my family, my school, and myself. I pledge to remain a dignified woman who will uphold the virtues I have learnt. Despite the mistakes I have made in the past, I pledge to change and make a commitment to strive for excellence. I pledge to strive to become better in every possible way and make a difference in my home, school, community, country, and the world. Thank you, Luisa and Twindali.
And now we look forward to hearing from Father Vontosiro. Today I will be reflecting on the gift of human sexuality, a gift that has been abused by some. In doing this, I will be using a book that was published in the year 1995, the Pope's Council for Family. The book was called The Truth and Meaning of Human Sexuality. I will reflect on some important points of the teaching of human sexuality taught by Pope's Council for the Family. In the Bible, we are created in the image of God. St. John, John's letter says, God is love. We are created to love. Love, therefore, is God and the purpose for everyone. At the end of our lives, we will be judged on one teaching, how we have loved. Sexuality is the gift of God. God made us male and female. Each person is called to love through our body and spirit because we are body and spirit. God has given special gift and ways where we can love as male and female. Sexuality is a fundamental component of personality, one of each ways of being, of manifestation, of communicating with others, feeling of expressing and of living human love. When God created his work, he saw everything was good. Human sexuality is good. God saw sexuality as being very good according to Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. Our sexuality is a gift and a special way of relating, being open to others and loving each other. The relationship between a man and a woman is essentially a relationship of love. As Pope Francis says, sexuality is our longing for love with one another, is our longing for communion with one another. Sexuality involves friendship, it involves creativity, it involves joy, and of course, it involves love. Sexuality oriented Elevated and integrated by love acquires truly human quality. The goal of our relating to each other through the gift of sexuality is love. The Hebrew word for love is agape, to love for the good of other. Now when we go to St. Paul, he says, Love is always patient and kind. It is never jealous. Love is never boastful. It is never rude or selfish. It does not take offense and is not resentless. Love takes no pleasure in other people's sins but delight in the truth. It is always ready to excuse, to trust, to hope, to delight in whatever it comes. And of course, love does not come to an end. There, our sexual relationship, whether in spirit or body, must be motivated out of love. Any sexual relationship without love is an abuse of the gift of love. So therefore, when you look at the crisis we are facing today in Fiji, the rise of rape, child abuse, we can see that there is no love in this act. There is no joy. There is no friendship. There is no creativity because it's only the means of satisfaction. And therefore, rape is abuse of God. Sex outside of marriage is an abuse of God's gift because unmarried people have not yet fully committed themselves to love each other unconditionally. Sexual abuse that has happened nowadays in our society is a clear example that it is wrong because it is motivated by selfishness and violence. There is no love. So dear brothers and sisters, 
let us respect God's gift of human sexuality. Thank you very much, Father Von Pasira from the Sacred Heart Parish. like to encourage our role as to look up our children, our sons and daughters at home, especially as we are on holiday breaks. There are many social gatherings coming up. Hibiscus is coming up. And in these two weeks holidays, it's a good time to call our children uh, at home and to be with them. Uh, don't leave them unsupervised. Don't leave them to be on their own, do what they want to do, go where they want to go. We need guidance. We need our parental guidance in these two weeks' holidays. And also to our youth, we need to uphold the teaching of our church regarding human sexuality. Because in our culture, we see sex as something that is almost a sin, something that we're not allowed to talk about it clearly with, with our parents and grandparents. But in the Bible, it says, Sex is good, it's the gift of God. So we should keep on upholding, appreciating the gift of God in our human sexuality because God created us, men and women, in the likeness of Him. So I invite you all next week to tune in again in our program that we will continue to hear more about self-education and awareness regarding human sexuality. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for being with us uh, with our program today. And if you have any comments about this program, please feel free to contact the Communications Department of the Archdiocese of Suva. Next week, we will hear about education and education awareness. And we will have a wrap up by His Grace, the Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Suva, Peter Loy Chong. Until then, have a wonderful week.